Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be something a little bit different than what I usually do. This video here, this one's gonna be a story time. And it's gonna be the time I got stood up for a first date. Okay, it was so annoying, but I'm gonna tell you guys how we met. I'm gonna tell you how it all went down. So if you wanna see how I got stood up, then just keep on watching. So one day I went out to eat with my mom. We went to Grand Lux and I, it, that point had just recently became single well and by recently i would say maybe about two or three months and my mom's like you know what it's time for you to get back out there and meet some new guys and i'm like no mom not right now i'm not ready i don't even want to talk to another guy just just give me some time she's like no 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 she's like you have to just finally just get yourself up together i'm like you know what maybe she's right i can't just sit around and just be boring my whole life you know but i was looking at it as you know i'm just working on myself i'm not gonna worry about anybody else so we go out to eat and we go to grand lux we went and grabbed some um we got a sandwich i forgot what she got but i was getting my food the guy comes fine okay fine he comes over he's all tall he's dark he's handsome he's nice white teeth and i'm like Oh my god he's so cute you know me and my mom mind you we're more like best friends rather than mom and daughter like of course that relationship is still there um the daughter she's the mom but we're so close like we talk about everything so i'm like oh mom he's cute listen those teeth looks like straight okay straight and white he was tall and he was chocolate and had this beautiful skin and he was taught so articulate i'm like <laughs> yes okay yes but i was like you know i'm not gonna say nothing but he comes over he's all smiling all hard so i'm like oh okay i said like, you catching my drift we vibing here you see how i feel i see how you feel i we here but you know i didn't see anything or whatever so we're eating and he's being all like flirtatious a little bit or whatever but he doesn't really see anything so I was like, oh, oh, he is so cute, mom. She was like, oh, you want me to go get his number? I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I said, we don't do that. We don't go get numbers, okay? He needs to ask for my number. But I was like, I'm just going to let this one slide. Maybe if I see him again, if it's meant to be, it will be. If not, then it won't happen. That's how I just live my life. So we pay our bill. It's time to go. I'll grab my stuff. My mom gets her stuff. We get ready to go. We walk out. Then my mom says to me, oh, I think I left something. I was like, okay, I'll wait right here. She goes back in there. Next thing I know when she comes out, she done gave this man my number. Told him, oh, she done graduated college and she's this and she's that and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, who told you to do all that making me look desperate and crazy? Like, why would you go and give this man my number? Like, he should at least ask. Uh, you know what? Let me give this man a name. His name is going to be Johnny. We're going to just name him Johnny. So she goes and gives Johnny my number. And I'm like, Mom, you drawling. But I'm like, whatever. He was cute. So I, like, I, I was saying she was drawling, blah, blah, blah. She kind of happy she did it. So Johnny ends up texting me later on that day. And he asked me on a date that night. And I'm like, bro, calm down. Like, you cute and all, but I have things to do. And then I can't seem too desperate. So I'm going to just push him off a little bit, make it seem like I'm busy. You know, I, I'm not going to be too hyped. Not, not too hyped. So he's like, let's go on a date tonight. And I'm like, mm, no, nah, I can't tonight. I said, maybe another day. He said, well, what about tomorrow? And I'm like, bro, calm down. Like, how about you get to know me a little bit? Like, ask me a couple questions or whatever. So I was like, oh, no, maybe not tomorrow. I said, because I, I actually have a lot of things to do. I said, maybe we can go out this weekend. This was like on a Tuesday, I think, that we had went out to eat. So he was like, oh, okay. So... We didn't text that night. Mind you, he's asking me. He's talking about dates. Has not asked me how old I am. Has not asked me anything. So I'm like, okay. So the next day, he texted me good morning. And we was um, talking a little bit. We started to really get to know each other. Found out what country he was from. And he's telling me how his little brother plays football. And he's like, yo, like you should come. You should come hang with my family. And we should go into the football game. And I'm like, you already talking about hanging with family. Like, dang, bro, you... <laughs> I want to go on a date with you first before I actually like you like Jesus like you were just doing too much literally he probably asked me on four dates in a matter of two days and I'm just like this is just going a little fast like but I'm like he's so cute and he he asked me to send 
him a picture of myself i sent him a picture like you know cute one smiling nothing nothing too extra and then he sends me one back and i'm like oh this man is fun like but when he I keep it cool keep it cool okay so he was like all right well how about this can i at least take you out for breakfast tomorrow and i'm like you know what that's cool you want to take me out to breakfast because that, that's a little bit better. I get to meet you and talk to you, um, see what you're about, fill you out, see what our chemistry is like in person. But before we do that, that, that was like two or three days afterwards. I've noticed that he has, he always stopped texting me at a certain time every day. Like I did not hear from him at the around like 6, 30, 7 o'clock each day. So I'm like that's weird like i understand you work in the restaurant industry but you have days off like you don't always work at night time like i was i was so lost but i was like you know whatever and any months with that man i don't care what you're doing i just like i kind of had caught on that like i'm very like smart and i pay attention to a lot of things whether i mention it or i don't just know that i like i catch it so he's like, hey, so you want to go out to breakfast tomorrow? He was like, we can go to Green Eggs Cafe. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. I love that restaurant. The food's really, really good. They give you big portions, you know, because I like to eat. So, you know, <laughs> we ain't got to worry about me still being hungry when I leave. So I said, okay, cool. So I was like, which Green Eggs Cafe do you want to go to? And anybody in um, Philly know that there is more than one Green Eggs Cafe. So he was like the one, I think, I forgot which one he said. So he, he, just, he said something, but I'm like, where? That's like, they're both in the city. Like, which one do you want me to go to? Like, so this way we can just be on the same page. And he was like, just tripping, like not like coming up with a clear answer. So I sent him a screenshot of, uh, what's this one? Green Eggs Cafe number one, Green Eggs Cafe number two, and Green Eggs Cafe number three. I said, which address am I going to? So Johnny ends up telling me that we're going to Green Eggs Cafe number one. So I said, okay, cool. What time do you want to meet? He says that he wants to meet up at around 10.30. So I says, okay, that's perfect. So I'm getting my office together. I'm sending pictures to my best friend. Like, all right, look, what do I wear this? What do I wear that? I'm like, oh, what do I do? Like, what, what should I wear? And she decides to tell me, she's like, okay, wear this one. Don't do too much. But I'm like, you tell me not to do too much, but you tell me to throw these heels on. You tell me to throw this on, throw that on. So I'm like, I'm getting nervous. Mind you, this is the first thing that I've been on since my ex of four years. So I'm like, Whitney, calm down. Don't be nervous. Just get it together. So I decide on an outfit that I'm going to wear. And then I wake up the next morning and, you know, he doesn't hit me up or anything. So I um, text him and I was just said, hey, good morning. No response. So I, okay. And then I text back. I said, hey, so um, I'm about to make my way down there. No response. So it's okay. So I'm like, uh, are we still meeting up today? Cricket, cricket, cricket. Like, what's the deal? No response. So I'm like, okay. Maybe he's just one of those people who he don't know, uh, doesn't text while he's getting ready. Not big on texting in the morning or whatever. And this is like around like nine. I think I'm like, you know, maybe he's still asleep. I live farther from the restaurant than he does. So maybe he doesn't have to take as much time to get there. So I decide, I'm like, all right, let me get myself together. I get dressed. I have my car. I'm about to start making my way down there. And someone tells me to call him. So I call him and no answer to the phone I said, okay this isn't too good so i decided to call one last time I'm like all right this is the one last time i'm gonna hit this man up before we go because he one he's failed to hit me up and two you just don't respond to any of my text messages or the phone calls when i call you which is completely rude to me so i call one last time and this man answers the phone this is sleep okay this Johnny asleep. Like I hear it all his voice. He's like, "Hello." I said, "Hello." He says, "Yeah." So what you mean? Yeah, like, are we still meeting up? Like, what's the deal? What's up? He says, "Huh." He said, "Oh." Um. And the next thing I know, I hear, "Johnny, what are you doing?" Who are you on the phone with? 
it's a whole girl in the background. I'm like, I know this. So he's like, oh, uh. Then hangs up on me, okay? This man hangs up on me. I'm like, first off, I know this man did not hang up on me, number one. Number two, I know there ain't no chick in the background. And number three, now it all makes sense. I'm like, this is the reason why you cannot freaking talk to me at a certain time. This is the reason why you was not answering my text message this morning. And this is why you was acting all weird and just not normal. I'm like, yo, it's really crazy. So I hung up, he hung up the phone. I didn't say anything. I'm like, thankfully, I only went right down the block from my house instead of about to drive 45 minutes to this freaking restaurant for him had not to answer the phone, text me, or even show up, or even plan on showing up. So I'm like, all right, whatever, cool. I'm just going to go home. And I'm not feeling alone. And I went about my day. And I went to go get my hair done. And I'm going to go get my nails done and my toes and my eyebrows done. And I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to go get, just going to go get myself together. Next thing I know, literally maybe six or seven hours later, this man FaceTimes me. I'm like, okay, no, I know Johnny is not about to FaceTime me as he stood me up on our date today. So I didn't answer. I did not answer. I'm like, I'm not about to sit here and play these games with you and be a part of no freaking girlfriend, baby mama, ex-girlfriend, whoever drama you about to have me involved in. I'm not about to do it. I, I, I don't have the time. I do not need any drama in my life at all. So... I call my mom, I was like, Ma, yo, let me tell you how this boy really, really, really think he got run game on me and go on FaceTime me. She, she was like, well, did you answer? I'm like, no, I ain't answered. I'm like, I want nothing to say to this man. She's like, no, call him back. See what he want. So I'm like, no. She was like, wait, see what he wants. See what his excuse was. I said, all right. So I FaceTime this man back. He is like smiling and giddy hey oh my gosh you're so beautiful oh my god i didn't even remember you being this gorgeous i'm like johnny what do you want and he's like oh my god are you mad at me i said well, what is it for me to be mad about he was like no he said like, i completely forgot i fell asleep i said well that was clear that you fell asleep and he was like no he was like you know i really messed up blah blah Mind you, he didn't apologize he just said oh i just messed up he I'm like, okay, so what do you want? He's like, oh my God, you're such a hard ass. I'm like, no, I ain't being no hard ass. I'm just trying to figure out why you're wasting my time on my phone right now. Like, like, what did you call me for? And he's like, oh no, he, I mean, like, I just wanted to see a pretty face and I just wanted to talk to you. I said, there was nothing for me and you to talk about. I said, well, you had your chance to talk to me today at the restaurant when we were going to eat, but you obviously didn't care too much to talk then, so let's not talk now. He's like, no, he was like, all right, give me another chance. Give me another chance. He says, I'm about to go in here. I'm about to go get my hair cut. He's like, am I uh, going to be able to talk to you later? He says, if I call you back, you going to answer? I said, oh, I'll think about it. Probably not, but I'll think about it. He said, all right, I'm going to call you back. And he was like, and we're going to talk. And he said, I'm going to take you out again. I said, all right, bye-bye. Hangs up the phone. Let me tell you how I've not heard from that man again. Johnny was a complete waste of my time play games and freaking was going to go on a date with me you have a whole girlfriend that you living with like what is wrong with you if you living with her or she staying with you or you just crashing at her place or vice versa or whatever it is but i don't have the time for that like who and thinks that that's okay and this is the reason why i'm like i will not entertain shenanigans or any type of games at all so that right there is my story on how i got set up for it my first date with I don't even want to see some guy that I was talking to because it lasted all of over like a week half a week maybe five days I don't even know I mean granted that man was cute and all but I was able to see right through his BS and his crab and all this other stuff I'm just like I don't have the time for this no more like he he was just he was just extra non extra for no reason at all freaking liar but if you like these story times videos, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be sure to get you some more videos like this real soon. But until then, guys, I will see you in my next video. Alright, bye.